a life of following Jesus, of enjoying and growing in a relationship with God, is often described in the Bible as a walk. But what if God feels distant and you doubt his presence and provision, perhaps his very existence? This is Ethan's story. Doubt and struggle played a big part in my journey to becoming a Christian. When I was at university, I struggled a lot with the idea of what I was going to do with my life. I often felt hopeless and that my life didn't have a purpose. My faith was very weak and often non-existent. I remember that instead of looking to the God that I had come to know in my childhood, I tried to look to myself for answers to the questions that I had. What do I want to do with my life? How do I want to live? What are the things that make me happy? But the more that I tried to answer those questions on my own, the deeper the doubt became. But in my doubts and struggles, even though I was not seeking God, He did not abandon me. As part of my university degree, I needed to spend some time in Spain to learn Spanish. It was there that I first got involved with GBU, a group that organizes Bible studies and supports Christians in Spanish universities. I went to the annual summer camp for the GBU, and during this time, God opened my eyes to the answers that he, he had to my questions. He showed me that the idea that I had about him was completely wrong. He was not a distant God who only became a part of my life on Sundays or when I had an emergency that I needed to pray for. He was my father who sent his own son to die for me in my place. Through the teaching at that camp and the friends that I made during my time in Spain, God showed me that it was him that I needed to rely on and not myself. He gave me strong Christian friends and leaders who helped me see what living as a Christian truly looked like. They also introduced me to reading the Bible for myself and having a strong and personal relationship with Jesus. This was challenging and scary, but it gave me what I had been looking for, a purpose, not just for my life, but for eternity. One of the books from the Bible that really helped and encouraged me in that period was Hosea. It mirrored my story because it tells of how Israel had turned away from God and was going on without him. But despite the mess that Israel had gotten themselves into, God does not leave them or abandon them. He continues to go after them and he remains their God. I'll finish with the first four verses from chapter 11 of Hosea, where God says, When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. But the more they were called, the more they went away from me. They sacrificed to the Baals, and they burned incense to images. It was I who taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by, by the arms. But they did not realize it was I who healed them. I led them with cords of human kindness, with ties of love. To them I was like one who lifts a little child to the cheek, and I bent down to feed them. God never once abandoned me. In all of my struggles and doubts, he was and still is taking care of me.